Hello everyone. Today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a group presentation video using Adobe Spark. If you prefer to read how to do this, I'll include instructions in the description below. Now the first thing you're going to want to do with your group is create a PowerPoint presentation. This can be using the, the web version, the desktop version, uh, with keynotes, any pretty much anything you use to make a presentation. Um, you're going to want to create that first and then we're going to save that presentation as a series of images or JPEG files. So I'll show you how to do that really quick uh, if you don't already know. So what you're going to do is go to the very top and hit file and you're going to look for something called export instead of save as. So under the export option you should see a couple of different file types. It is asking what to save the presentation as and you're going to look for something that says images or JPEGs. So I'm going to click on images and here it's asking what kind of quality of the image would I like to uh, save it as. Do I want to save all of the slides or just a couple of them? I could specify that there. I'm going to go with all of them for today and hit next. And now it's asking where I want to save all those to and what it's going to do is create a folder with the presentation's name and put a JPEG inside that folder for each of the slides in my presentation. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm happy with that title and I'm going to hit export. So now that we have all of our slides saved as images, we are ready to jump over to Adobe Spark. So get on your web browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, even Explorer, whatever, and type in Adobe Spark. And it's going to ask you to create an account first before you can create anything else. So I'm going to quickly sign in with my Google account. I think I already am logged in. And once you are logged in, you should see a screen similar to this one. Now Adobe Spark is a online media creator which has a bunch of templates and projects to help you make Instagram stories, Facebook posts, um, there's even some cool web presentation thing you can do that's a little weird. Um, but for today's video, we're going to go with the slideshow video option. And once you click on that, it's going to ask you a question to try and determine what kind of template to give you. I'm going to hit skip and then it's presenting you with a bunch of templates. Um, you can really choose any of these. It doesn't really matter for this project. They're just going to give you um, suggestions on each shot or slide depending on the purpose of your video. So I'm just going to go with the show and tell one. And once it loads the template, it's going to give you a tutorial video that does a really good job in about a minute of showing you all the different tools in Adobe Spark. I encourage you to watch that real quick. It might give you some ideas for what you might be able to add on top of your voiceover recording and the slides we're about to import, but I'm going to skip it for now. So the first thing we are going to want to do is look at the display. So at the bottom, similar to PowerPoint, it has a series of slides that represent the shots in that video. And uh, in each of those shots, you'll see in the bottom right, a little clock showing how long that slide will be up in the finished video. So we want to begin, oh, and that's a little microphone guy. We're gonna click and hold that to record our voiceovers each slide in uh, the next step. But first we are going to either click on the little add icon in the center of the screen, or we're gonna click on the images icon that pops out from that guy and we're going to start importing those images we saved of our presentation earlier. So when you click on that it doesn't look like anything happened but on the right side we now have the option to upload a photo from our computer. So if I click on that I can find the folder all of my images are saved in and begin importing those to each of my shot slides in Adobe Spark. So I'm going to speed this point up real quick so you don't have to watch me do this over and over again and then we'll get to how to record the voiceover for each of these slides. So I've finished importing all the images from my previous PowerPoint presentation and I realized I didn't have enough slides in that template so I had to click on this little plus icon to give me a couple more slides to work with. Um, and one more thing to note is that since Adobe Spark is free, you are going to have a little watermark in the bottom right of all of your slides. So when designing your slides, you might want to keep that in mind. It's also going to force you to include this made with Adobe Spark and credits slide at the end of your videos. But this is a good opportunity to include all your group members names and a shout out to anyone else that may have helped you guys or your sources. So now that we have all of our slides 
input in our Adobe Spark presentation, we are ready to invite our other group members to work on this project. So if you click on the little add people icon here in the top, you then get the option to put in emails to send an invite to edit this project. So up in that top bar, you would type in your group members, hit invite, and you could write a little message in the bottom that says, hey, this is the project. Let me know if you have any questions. And your group members will have access to edit these slides and more importantly, record their voiceovers on their portion of the presentation. Now to record your voiceovers, you're gonna click and hold on the microphone icon in each slide. You may get a little notification asking to use your microphone, so make sure you allow that to use your microphone. And then you're going to click and hold on the microphone icon um, for as long as you need to talk for that slide. Now each of these slides is limited to 30 seconds, so you'll see that little uh, timer at the top of the mic kind of showing you how long each of those recordings is going for. If you do have a slide that you need to talk really long in depth about uh, that's going to take way longer than 30 seconds, what you're going to do is continue to record for 30 seconds and any second now. It is going to tell us that we have hit the cap for that slide and we should duplicate the slide and continue recording on the duplicate to kind of extend that shot. So go ahead and hit got it. And if you come down to the three little bubbles on the slide on the bottom, if you click on that guy, you get the option to duplicate that slide. And with that duplicate slide selected, you can then click and record the rest of the voiceover for that segment. and click play to listen to a preview of the clip. Click and record the rest of the voiceover for that segment. And it sounds like there's some music in that slide that I don't want, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. So to fix that music, I'm gonna go over to the very top right and click on the music tab. And there's a little yellow button here I'm gonna to toggle off to tell it don't play any music throughout my presentation. If you did wanna have some music included, there's a whole library here you can play through. Uh, keep in mind that it's only going to have one music uh, track for your entire video. It's not like you could choose one track for the first couple slides and another track for the next couple. So something to keep in mind as you're creating your video. Another thing to be aware of, if you are unhappy with the voiceover recorded on a particular slide, you can click on that microphone icon and it will let you record another voiceover that will overwrite the previous one. So another thing to be aware of as you're making your group presentation video. Now when you're done creating all of your slides and voiceovers, you're gonna to go to the top and hit this download button at the top bar, and that is gonna tell Adobe Spark to begin processing the project to eventually put a video file in your download section of your computer. And now once it creates that video file, you can then upload that to YouTube, Google Drive, OneDrive, maybe you can submit it directly to Canvas. It, is gonna give you a large file size, so it'll be too big to email, but you'll have a video file that you can then share or submit for your assignment. If you guys have any other questions on how to use Adobe Spark to make your group presentation videos, or would like some one-on-one -on -one help, you can reach out to us at the Multimedia Lab. Thanks for watching.